I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Lululemon Everyday Backpack 2.0, which I've been testing for about three weeks. Let's jump in. So the Everyday Backpack is made of a water repellent nylon on the exterior and it does, it gives it this sort of like shiny look um, which makes it pretty easy to clean. It's spot clean only but um, you can see I apparently need to do it again but when you do spot clean it, it comes fairly clean. Um, pet hair brushes off nicely which is good in my book. Um, and it gives it this nice sort of sleek profile um, and sort of a sleek look. I like the, I like the, the fabric. It is very water repellent. It has been a very rainy spring and I've gotten caught in the rain several times and everything inside still been fine. So that's great. Um, it comes in this black, which you can see, but it also comes in ancient copper, seal gray, bronze green, and then heritage camo wash juniper multi, which is like a camouflage print with like pink and black, green, and gray, and then it has like sort of Lululemon printed throughout. Um, in each case, the branding is the same color as the colorway, except for the multicolored print, in which case the branding is black. So I kind of like that look. It's, you know, I like the color on color, which that's up to you if you like it, but it just makes for a very sleek, kind of streamlined look, very unobtrusive. Looks kind of nice. Um, there isn't much branding here. There's this Lululemon patch, and then inside there's one other just little rubber logo that I'll show you inside. And that's it for the branding. Uh, I, I like a rather minimalistic look and that's why I kind of, I did like the look of this backpack. The hardware on here you will see it has these very chunky YKK zippers. It's YKK Vizlon. And I do have to say, they function well. They needed some breaking in. Like, to begin with, now they're sliding great, but at, to begin with, it, I kept on like getting it stuck and it wouldn't, it wouldn't slide as, as smoothly as I would like, but that has worked itself out over the course of a couple of weeks. So that's very nice in my opinion. The front zipper is also YKK, but it is just a regular YKK. It's not as chunky. This zipper I did find, it has this nice flap to protect the pocket from water and other things getting in. That's awesome. However, every time, see, and now if it's laying down or it's sitting on a firm surface, it zips just fine. If you have this, if you're, you know, holding it up and you're trying to zip it, it almost always would get stuck on the fabric flap towards the end. So that made it slightly annoying in my opinion for just going in and out of it. It didn't make it quite as quick access as I would have liked. Um, the only other hardware to speak of is there's these UTX flex slides to adjust the shoulder strap. They function very well. I really had no problem with the hardware. Like I said, once I got these chunky zippers broken in, now they slide fine, but it's been three weeks. So just keep that in mind when you get it, if you're like, geez, this is so stiff. It does get better, so that's kind of nice. Taking a look around the rest of the bag, there's, you know, different ways to carry it. There's this carry handle right here, lightly padded, 
and it's a great way to hang it up on a hook, up on a wall, whatever. Um, that does, it's also, it's fairly comfortable if you wanted to carry it for a certain period of time. It is comfortable enough, it has enough padding, you could do that for a little while. Then on the back, it has this nice luggage pass-through strap, which if you have this backpack packed very full, it's a 23 liter capacity, and if you have it almost fully packed, it makes it a little more difficult to slide a uh, you know, luggage handle through, but it's not impossible, you can totally do it. I had a really large book and um, some other you know, items, I had this really packed full and I was still able to put it on my luggage handle without any problem so that works well and it's it's a nice it's a nice added feature for a backpack I know they say this is an everyday backpack but it does then make it so you can travel with it it makes it very nice that way the shoulder straps you can see they're very lightly padded I would not want to carry this all day long loaded up with a bunch of heavy, heavy gear because they're not that comfortable for a very, very long period of time. But for everyday use, for going from home to work, to school, to the gym, whatever, they work out just fine. You can see you just, they fit very well. There's no added there's no added harness system or waist strap or anything. It's just this, but they fit really well. And they're easy to adjust. You just pull the, the slide up and it adjusts very well. And then you can just tug the strap back down and they are easy to adjust on the go, which I appreciate. What I don't love is that you can see if you are a smaller user or you just, you know, like to have your straps tighter, there's a lot of excess strapping here that's just left over after you tighten it up and there's nowhere for it to go. So if you had, you know, some Velcro, um, those Velcro strap keepers, you could put that around. You might want to sort of attach that somehow after you get it fit to how you like it because otherwise if you're walking around without the benefit of say pants or a coat or something to blunt it this strap because it's just nylon it does you can sort of hear how it smacks against you and doesn't feel that great if you're wearing shorts because it just smacks. So I would prefer to get this situated the way I like it and then find some methods, get some sort of external strap keeper and tie that up. Would have been nice if they gave you one, but they didn't, that's that. Um, the back panel is also lightly padded, so it will, protect your, your tech, it'll protect your laptop because this back section is where you put the laptop. So I feel like it has enough padding for that. I did feel like it could have used a little more padding for comfort if you were carrying something all day long because you can really feel the backpack or the laptop through the backpack after a while. It's not a deal breaker, it's not that big of a deal. And if you're just going in and out here and there, it's not that big of a deal at all. That being said, as you'll see when we get in, the, back, the laptop compartment is very large. And so you have room to slide in something else, like I put a jacket in here as a buffer and it makes it a lot more comfortable than against your back. So if you have a smaller device especially, you have more, you have some space to play with giving yourself a little more comfort. Now, let's take a look at the inside features. Oh, before we do, there's two six inch wide um, side pockets, good for water bottles. They don't have any elastic um, at the top, nothing to keep your water bottle from sliding out. That is, if you have a lot of 
if you have a lot of items in the bag, it does tend to tighten that up and make it so your water bottle is more secure. But just keep that in mind if you're laying it down, you know, it can, it can slide out, not very easily, but it, it can, it has some play. Now, what I also liked to do was I used the other one as more of a quick access pocket because this front pocket wasn't always as easy to access as I wanted. So like I would slide my phone in the side here, I'd toss my keys in there because I could easily grab them while it's over my shoulder. I can just reach right in there and pull that out. So that's a little bit of a hack that I found and they, it's the, these pockets are so deep that it really, you have a lot of room to do that. So you can slide, you know, chapstick or something you'd want to easy, easy grab. I mostly did my phone and my keys because that's what I needed to access the quickest and what I didn't want to be messing with the zipper for. So now we'll take a look at that front pocket. The front pocket is really, it um, goes the width of the bag, so it's very wide, and then it's nine inches deep. And it's a great place for, you know, like Kleenex, or I think I have some snacks in here. Um, I did put my wallet in there, hand sanitizer, stuff like that. And with this gusset, it has a lot of depth. So you can see, there you go. So you can see inside of it, which is really nice because the interior fabric liner is the same color as the exterior fabric. So in this case, I have chosen a very dark backpack. So we have a very dark liner. If, it was, if you couldn't open it as easy, it would be harder to see what's in here. But because they have this, you know, this gusset, it, it makes it a little easier to open. And then, like I said, see, you can sort of see now, it just gets caught on the fabric and it gets caught on the gusset almost a little bit as you're trying to zip it back up. Just something to be aware of. I just didn't like how hard it was to get in there. So I found myself not using it as much. That's just me. Your mileage may vary. This is the main compartment. It has this nice large uh, zipper that opens sort of in a U shape all the way down to both water bottle pockets and it's really nice because as you can see you can see inside the entire backpack it doesn't leave anything you're not you're not trying to dig around at the bottom what you see is what you get so starting from the back here we have two polyester mesh pockets with a little bit of elastic on top. So you can, you know, if you want to put your passport there, you could also, I fit a mouse here. You can pretty much anything you want to be able to just unzip a little bit and reach in and grab. That's a nice spot for those sort of things. Um, you can see, like I said, there's that Lululemon logo on the inside and it's going to be the same color you know if you pick the green that's going to be green it's so it it just blends in so that's really nice and as you can see there's a lot of room i have just a lot of books today but you can fit a lot of things in here i was able to i was going out this weekend and wanted to change of clothes i slid a pair of shoes in here and i slid the clothes in this section and i had plenty of room so the 23 liter capacity, it does really, you have a lot of room to play with depending on what you want. You could slide several packing cubes in here and make even more use of the space depending on how, what sort of organization you use. Now, this, on this opposite side, you can see there's this elastic pouch. I'm not even entirely sure why they put elastic there because it is so loose that it doesn't hold anything in there. Like these things will just slide out if I laid this down. It's really more of a divider than anything. So I did use it like that. Like I have my tech pouch over here, my, my little makeup bag. I have a hairbrush in there. 
And um, like I said, another time I, I slid a change of clothes in here and the shoes in here so that we could keep them separate. But I really, I kind of would have liked the elastic part to be tighter. Then you could have put in things and kept them secure. And I feel like that was maybe a missed opportunity because all it would have required is tightening up this elastic somewhat. I don't think it would have had any impact on the look of the bag. It just would have made it a little more useful in my opinion. But I adapted. It's not that big of a deal, just is what it is. And we'll slide the zipper close. They are dual sided zippers, so you can open it from any direction. That's kind of nice. And they do have these really nice nylon pull tabs. I love pull tabs because I hate trying to grab little tiny zippers. And that does make it easy to open all of these compartments. The laptop compartment here in the back only has a one sided zipper. It does still have this nice pull tab though, and so you open it up and it can fit up to a 16 inch device. Now I only have a 13 inch device, so I have lots of room to play with. You would definitely have enough room to, if you had a laptop sleeve or case, you could put it in there. Really, if you had a laptop and an iPad or another tablet or e-reader, you want to slide your keyboard back here, I would say as long as you, you know, had cases for your devices so they wouldn't be scraping against one another, you could fit several things in this back pocket. So that's kind of nice. You can really take your whole show on the road here. But like I said, I stuck a jacket back here because although the jacket would have totally fit in this main compartment, it's nicer to just have this jacket here because then it made, it blunted the feel of the laptop on my back makes it a little, just a little more comfortable. So that was just um, something I had figured out and really liked doing. So there you have it, the Lululemon Everyday Backpack 2.0. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.